cognitive skills are the basic processes that our brains use to take in, store, retrieve, and manipulate information. If those are not efficient and those are not happening you know, quickly and accurately, then we're just not going to have the base on which to build our higher order thinking. It's sort of a pyramid of skills that works up and so if we don't have strong underlying skills then things that seem basic to us like reading and math are going to be problematic, they're going to be difficult and we're also going to be less likely to get to the level where we can really think higher thoughts, be creative, solve problems, do all the kinds of things that we know are so important in a globally competitive uh, world that we live in. To me, the greatest discovery in my lifetime is having the realization that every single individual can enhance their cognitive skills, their ability to think, their ability to reason, their ability to process information. Developing intelligence is different than knowledge. Intelligence is about being able to take any situation in life that you're confronted with without being overwhelmed, without having anxiety attacks, without being depressed. Brainware is, it was, product was built on over 40 years uh, from multiple clinicians working together to try to understand what drove the greatest intellectual growth in the shortest period of time that was sustainable and transferable. Well, I like to say that brainware is for anybody from six to 106. And we have different objectives at different ages. Younger people are often trying to build up their cognitive skills because they have some weaknesses in some areas. When we get to older individuals, then often it's more about maintaining cognitive capacity. Brainware is different from other cognitive learning tools in a number of ways. First of all, it's very comprehensive in the skills that it develops. 41 skills rather than just focus on one or two skills that might be relevant in a learning environment. It develops in a highly integrated way, so not in silos. This is more like cross-training for the brain. The other ways that it's different is that it uses a really nice video game format so that it's engaging and motivating, and we know that's a key part of developing these skills is that engagement. And the final thing I would say is that it has been proven by research, so it has been supported by extensive peer-reviewed published research as well as uh, many field studies with schools. We, I think we have 22 or 24 research studies completed. We got about another 20 or 22 studies going on this year. It started with a study of students in first through seventh grades divided into a control group and a study group. The study group used Brainware for 12 weeks and both groups were pre and post tested with the Woodcock-Johnson cognitive battery. The improvement for the Brainware group over 12 weeks was four years and three months of intellectual growth. So that's like saying you have an eight-year-old who now has the intellectual capacity of a 12-year-old. And what it did was drive then gains also in academic performance. So the improvement in performance for the Brainware group was almost two years in those 12 weeks compared to just a month for the control group. We will never be the society that we think we want to be without identifying ourselves with those with the greatest challenges. And our success is in direct relationship to their success. We give people the opportunity to do good, don't do good. We hope that you'll be inspired by what we've been telling you and take a few minutes to become involved. We'd love to have you as part of this project. This is something that everybody can feel good about because you're helping so many people. You can help yourself, you can help schools, you can help children, you can help adults. Everybody has somebody in their family probably that they really care about. Maybe it's your grandmother, maybe it's your child, maybe it's a sister or brother that struggled in school. This can help people not have so many struggles, not be so defeated by what life throws at them. And at the end of the day, we don't really know how much we can develop the human mind. That isn't something that anybody has set a limit on yet. So you'll have to stay tuned for that.